Welcome back everybody to another Minnesota Vikings video where today we have a big episode taking on the San Francisco 49ers. They have the number one pass defense and a top five rushing offense and passing offense. It's a huge game. Obviously, very similar in terms of our wins and losses. Even our overall is the same, just kind of spread out a little differently. They're a bit more of a uh, well-balanced team versus us. Our offense is a bit better than our defense, although typically our defense plays a bit better than our offense, which is kind of surprising. But not only is this a big game, but just the NFC North right now is crazy. We have a couple teams just knocking on our doorstep, basically. Obviously... We tied our last game with the Lions, so kind of puts us in a weird spot. We are two games up on them in terms of losses. We are, but at the same time, like only up one in terms of wins. Granted, it counts more about the losses and then goes into the ties. So right now we have somewhat of a good spot, but we don't really want to slip up and lose any of our momentum and possibly drop in the NFC North. We definitely don't like that. We've won the NFC North every single year this series, so we want to continue that, and it all really starts here against the 49ers. Welcome to Levi Stadium, home of the San Francisco 49ers, who are the, well, the host today. We're going to travel all the way to the West Coast, San Francisco. Fortunately, nighttime game, so depending on what time of year this is, it's either a good thing or a bad thing. And obviously, we talked a little bit pregame about how big of a game this is. Their offense is electric, both in the run, in the pass, just all around a really good offense. They're going to get a nice gain here on first down. Kareem Hunt gets a gain of eight on the first down carry. And besides, I mean, him, I mean, Lance has definitely developed well at quarterback. They have Kittle. They have Debo. I mean, this is a really well-built team. Henley gets the tackle here after Kareem gets the first. And I'll just go ahead and say early in this, if my voice starts to get a little weird, I know it got a little weird in the last uh, game, that I'm having a big hit from Kendrick's going to interrupt me there, but a huge hit stopping him after a gain of only two. But yeah, if my voice gets a little funky, I, it's the first time in my life I feel like I've really ever had the uh, seasonal allergies hit up, so throw it a little weird. As I think that was Trey Sermon just jumped over a man. He gets a gain of five on his first carry. But yeah, I have a uh, frozen lemonade over here, a non-alcoholic one. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, even though I am an adult. Is that one? Good job by Bradbury to break that one up. They were going for Debo. But yeah, I made myself a nice little frozen lemonade, put in some, not really fresh, the frozen strawberries, and one of those emergency packets that's uh, pink lemonade flavor. So hopefully that <laughs> helps out and keeps my voice not awful for the remainder of this video as our offense will take the field here led by nick robinson who hasn't you know had too bad of a go here obviously we would like a little less interceptions but still kind of learning the offense a bit but he's also helped out a lot in just terms of running the ball as well and speaking of running that is what we're going to focus on on offense we have Three out of five up front who do pretty well. Also have that for the pass as well. But their DBs are just ball hawks. They have, I think, like, yeah, it was the actual, like, the number one pass defense. So not going to try to test it too much. But we, do, we definitely will still be throwing the ball a bit. And we'll be trying to spread the ball just around in various other different ways. Like here when we bring in Dyson, we just hand the ball off to him on a jet sweep. He has good speed. Try to utilize it. Get a good block there from Jefferson. Get out of bounds after a first down. That's all we need from him. From him, a gain of 12 on that carry. I guess, yeah, technically goes down as a rush. I know I'm going to have a fun time editing this in between all these plays as I clear my throat. Just going to keep hearing that over and over again. 
That pass going to find Leach, however, incomplete, almost picked off on the tip. And normally Leach pretty sure-handed, just not able to hold on to that one. So we'll drop back into the shotgun here. Come out with our two tight ends set to the right. Going to go to the left and a nice stop there by number one. And I couldn't see who else was in. I believe that was maybe one of their safeties that came down. Although it doesn't look like he's out there right now. So I'm not sure who that was. He did a nice job and nice uh, blitz pickup. Not only blitz, but just rush pickup. Nick Robinson going to squirt forward for the first. Again, I use squirt there. I don't, don't know why. I don't like. I don't like that. I need to stop saying that. But the wheels there from our quarterback definitely help out. Give us not only away from a potential sack, but a first down as well. Going to go for a draw play here. Not going to get a whole lot, but a gain, of, a gain of a few. Four yards on first. And in terms of their key guys, obviously, they have Fred Warner and Nick Bosa. Both extremely good guys that we'll need to watch out for across the middle here. Take a shot deep with Chark. He had a really good game the other... Somehow, that one's picked off. Possibly Greedy Williams. I'm not sure it said G. Williams, but that's really unfortunate. <laughs> Thrown up in basically what was one-on-one. -on -one. Safety came over late. And yeah, Williams just picked that off one-handed. Nice job from him, and that's why I didn't want to test it too much. But one-on-one, -on -one, we'll try it every now and then. Also got pretty unlucky with the spot there, saying they landed in the end zone. I was really hoping they'd be down at, like, the inch line, but uh, unfortunately not. They're going to go for a run on first down and have wide open lanes. Unfortunately for them, he cut in instead of just continuing in the wide open area. Henley will get the tackle after the first is gained, though. We are going to bring a bit of a blitz here. I like Henley coming a little bit late. They have a bunch at the bottom, and that was almost free rush in, but... They got picked up basically right as they got to the line. Gain of six on the first count, first down carry. So far, I'd say the 49ers just seem pretty well balanced. Not really doing any particular thing more or less than anything else. Lance going to step up here. Jukes Kendricks out and slides before Henley gets the hit. And following that first down scramble, they come out three tight ends to the left. A lone receiver to the right. And they're going to run to the outside. Over pursuit a little bit. But we're going to get a nice stop there from J.J. Watt after only a gain of two. I would say, in a way, our two offenses are very similar in how we've kind of built them and kind of how we structure them as well. Because we're going to not get a tackle on George Kittle, and the game kind of threw me out of just out of the way with Harrison Smith. Luckily, Kittle just ran out of bounds. Otherwise, that could have been a gain of a lot more. So they're going to come out still with that three tight end set, this time to the right, run to the left. And they're still going to get a good, really good gain on first down. I have a feeling this is a game I'm going to need to come up with uh, some good blitz schemes to try to dis disrupt timing. Because they get a nice, just job. Yep, George Kittle being George Kittle. He just destroyed us on that play. He was juking, jumping, running by everybody. And unfortunately, while Carvey... Harvey... That's our uh, other safety. Thinking of Henley is a pretty good box safety for us. He's not much of a cover guy just yet. So hard to put him on George. Trying to find the uh, the best linebacker or so to do it. And Harrison Smith might be a good guy to put on Kittle there. He has some speed, has some strength, also some run stopping ability. Speaking of run stopping, we don't do it there. And they get another first down, this time down to the six. And on first and goal, they're going to come out. And a spread look here. Going to bring Henley down. Try to cover. That that worked. Double A gap blitz worked well there. Going to get Kareem Hunt in the backfield. Loss of only one. But still a loss. And possibly not with the three. I was going to bring a uh, corner blitz. But with them having three receivers over to one side. Doesn't work out very well. And that is where they go to the side with the three. And that's going to be a touchdown. Looks like McLeod? Was it Ro Ronnie McLeod? Rodney McLeod? Can't remember, but either way, McLeod gets the touchdown. First points of the game goes to San Francisco. They're going to go up 7-0. to zip. And Our offense will retake the field here. We know what we need to do. Also curious, it looks like we have the release for Jefferson. Not really the speed. And we don't have either for Chark. So if we're going to go deep, probably focus more on that Jefferson side. Who gets a good block there on... Is that Quisky Tart? Yes, number 3. Got a good block on him. 
Helped us get Ford for a gain of eight on the first down carry. And perhaps now would be a good time to try to go deep here. Looks like they're going to be bringing the blitz. If we could get a good release, we don't really get much. And that was just not. And he might go all the way. Nope, we're going to get the tackle with O'Neal. I tried to dump that off to our tight end. I believe it was Lucas was this wide open the bottom, but when I hit the pass, it said, nah, we're just going to toss this up as we get sacked. Almost, you could almost say the passing motion was going forward, right? Unfortunately, that's not in Madden, so turnover and defense needs some help. Really good starting field position here for San Francisco, already at the six. First and goal, basically right back to where they just were. And this time, not going to get a good animation for us. They're right back in. One play touchdown. Just ran through Harrison Smith, who was also being blocked at the same time. Either way, we're down 14 zip, and we need some points quick. And we will retake the field here, coming out in a heavy set, trying to cut back because Fred Warner just went right through the line. Not a great start either for Dalvin. Five carries, 19 yards. And unfortunately, we really, we really need our running game to do well for us. Like I said, this is the number one passing defense we're going up against today. And they're definitely showing it, doing a really good job covering most of everybody. Try to get a stiff arm there with Robinson, but he gets tackled. Gain of a few. And we'll just go check down to a run here. As we have the advantage right where we're supposed to be running. We'll see if we can get down to the second level. Get the blocks in, which we do. We also got a good block from Jefferson who came flying in to get one of the linebackers. We'll get a first down. Good run there. Hopefully that will keep going. And one way that might be able to help us in terms of running is also trying to get some play action going as well. Try to see what opens up for us. As we do have Leach who just found the break in between the zone basically. A nice chunk play for us all the way down to the 22, the first completion of the day as well for Robinson. And as we follow that up, looks like they're bringing down their safety already in the double A gap. Try to find a hole here with Dalvin. We'll power forward for a good gain on the first down, like six, seven yards. They'll say six. I'll take it because it looks like we'll probably be going in, into the two-minute warning here. And they just have a single high safety. I'm looking at Leach possibly here, depending on what the outside corner does. Nice one-on-one. -on -one. Nope, don't like it. Check it down here to Dalvin. Get a gain of a, maybe one or two better than nothing. And the strong power play has worked fairly well in recent games. However, with there being Bosa and Warner, as well as the safety that they brought down, I'm going to check out of that. Go to a slant play here. Try to just roll out. Could force a pass there to Leach, but instead I'll tuck it, slide down at the five, and we'll continue going here. Don't need to force anything. We need for sure points. And on our first first end goal, come out here in a heavy set, and a motion Thurston over. Try to follow behind some of our good blockers. See what happens, and not a whole lot. Get a gain of about a yard or so. Try to follow that up with a similar play here, going to... That's not what I wanted Lucas to do. Drag route, please. Thank you. And do an in route with Flanagan. Looking to possibly get Thurston here. Depends on the coverage on the outside. As they do a good job there. Going to force it in that gap. Not really force it, but just find the gap. And we do another touchdown for Jefferson. He's come on pretty well in the kind of the start of the second half of this season getting a lot more looks especially in the red zone we'll find him here again get our first points of the game draw this back close as we get really close to halftime and with 20 seconds left remaining in the first half we just need our defense to keep him out the end zone and away from field goal range that would also be you know that would be nice as well so it did not get very good man tracking there or, uh, I think it was Bradbury that was on Debo who motioned over, just stayed over on one side. Luckily, we get the stop, though, and that should be almost halftime. They might get a snap off. Doesn't look like it. We'll head into halftime here. We're down 14-7, to and I don't remember who got the ball to start the game. As the 49ers head into the locker room here, take a quick look at the stats, and uh, pretty similar across the board here, just obviously 49ers with the two... Forced turnovers in the first half are really the entire difference. 
but we'll take a look around the league if the map will do anything. There we go. Colts and Bengals. Colts win. Surprisingly, I thought the Bengals would have won that one, but no, Colts win 35-17. They'll improve to 7-5. Bengals drop to 9-3. Up in the Northeast, Cardinals and New England Patriots. As Patriots lose another one, Cardinals get the victory 21-14. Both teams under 500. Cardinals fighting to get back. And we'll jump to that other screen here. Do a quick look. Packers lose to Seattle 35-28. Lions lose to Jacksonville 34-13. And the Bears, do we see the Bears anywhere? I did not. If you did, let me know in the comment section. And we will be receiving the second half kickoff, which is fantastic. Good opportunity here for us to get this game back tied up. So we have a good... Well, thought it was going to be good. Ended up just getting to the 26. But as you can see, Nwangwu is back after he had his one game where he missed with some back spasms. I think that was what it was from a practice injury right after he got his new contract. But either way, he's back and we're back on offense. And of course, we're going to bring Dyson out here first down. Try to utilize that speed, spread out the defense. Try to open up the middle of the field here for us. As we try to use and fairly well do use Chark to get both of the blocks on the corners and safeties. Dyson gets forward for another first. Now obviously we haven't seen Dyson too much in uh, a straight receiver type role. Using his little, using him as I stumble over my words a bit more as a gadget type player utility player. But still for a rookie he's shown pretty good uh, promise out there. Interesting uh, reflection with the uh, the visor, I don't know if you guys saw that. And they'd still have that single high. I would like to go with the Sluggo here to Chark. Obviously, the last time we tossed it up did not go very well for us. They do a good job covering him. Going to dump it off here. Not able to get by Fred Warner, but we will get a gain of a few on the first down. Going to be a gain of five. We'll follow that up. Same formation. One of our more favorite formations here. And again, we have that release, height, everything except for the speed on the outside. I want to see if we could do that with a play action here. See if we could get over the top. And we have the release. Do we have the speed? We do. Down to the one. Oh, so close. But a great pass there from our quarterback, Robinson, finding Jefferson. He led him pretty well, too. And I really don't like that release of Robinson. Maybe in the offseason we'll coach that up. But... Pretty good job getting over the top, especially against the number one pass defense in the country. And let's follow that up with kind of going the opposite of a deep pass downfield with a fullback handoff right down the middle. Stretches for it. Not in. Nice job from the linebacker, maybe even safety, getting that stop. And with Dalvin being a little tired, we'll switch him out, spell him out with Kelly, who's more of our power back. We're going to go right for another run down the middle, and he is in running through Fred Warner. Had a little help from a block, but he is in. I don't know if he's even had a touchdown or so this season. I can't remember. If not, there you go. There's your first. Going to tie this game up with an extra point. And just like that, we're back to a tied game. Basically nothing to nothing. Kind of always a weird way of saying it, really. Whenever you retie a game, they're just like, oh, it's nothing. And, okay, not really the animation I would have wanted there from Ward, but at least we got the tackle after Debo got the first down catch. Yeah, I always thought that's a weird phrase whenever you retie a game. They're like, oh, basically back, nothing, nothing. Like, obviously points have been scored. Things have happened. But, yeah, I always think that's a little weird. They do a good job, I will say. Getting to that second tier, getting blocks on our linebackers, sometimes our safeties as well that we have down in the box. Really just kind of searching for what works against their offense, really. whatever, What kind of things can we do? Because I'm running a various different styles of defense here. Going zone, going man, heavy blitz, no blitz. So far, it's they're just moving steadily. I think this... Kind of just feels like one of those games is going to come down to who has the last possession or who, who's going to make the final mistake, really. As Kareem Hunt is running very well today. He gets a gain of six on first down. Try to maybe squeeze together our line up front to help try to stop the run. Good job by Alex Brooks to 
blow up Hughes check, but still they get close to the first. We'll switch it up a little bit here. Try to bring the blitz on the outside rather than down the middle. And there's the sack, Alex Brooks. That blitz hits home perfectly. Going to bring up a fourth and nine from the 48. They're outside of field goal range. They're going to need to punt this away to our offense. And we will take the field here. Running a little bit of a bunch. I don't typically run any bunches. I'm not normally a big fan, but we'll see if it works here. Going to dump this off to Cook. Try to get to the outside. Not able to get past Williams. Greenlaw was also there as well. Yeah, I don't know if you all saw, Dalvin had tweeted a, a video clip of him uh, just catching a pass. So, there's <laughs> with anything that happens on Twitter. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, BigBearB underscore gaming. But anything that happens on anything, we read way too much into it. So people are like, oh, is he now going to be just like a receiving back? And blah, blah, blah. One of the ones that I, uh, I did like when someone said that he's not, oh, Big hit there from 20, crashing into the side of Robinson as he slid down. No penalty, though. And we will head into the fourth quarter here. But you know, one of my favorite uh, replies to that tweet was saying that he's not going to let his younger brother do anything better than he, he's doing. Which, obviously, if you didn't know, Dalvin's, uh, Dalvin's younger brother, who played at Georgia, I believe, was drafted to the Buffalo Bills. So, now two cooks in the... Uh, in the real life NFL. As we're gonna try to go Leach at the corner and uh, 20 missed it. And Leach is just gonna fall in as we take our first lead. I don't know how he missed that. I thought that was picked. I don't I don't know if you can tell Leach kind of stopped running for a split second. I thought that was that was picked off. And instead it just went right through his hands. He just missed time the jump. I'll take it, whatever, whatever we need to do to get that victory, I will take it. And following, a, honestly, a very lucky play for us, our defense takes the field now up rather than kind of having to chase. Because we're going to go not get a big hit on Lance. A flag is down, however, most likely in the area of holding. And that's what it is going to be holding on Lincoln Tomlinson in the back them up first and 20 at the 15 and on first and 20 they'll come out in an empty set I'm gonna make an audible here gotta make sure we have a guy on everyone and not very good coverage but good enough coverage there from Reed gonna break that one up after they kind of hit the ground and what else to do on second and 20 but bring a double a gap blitz try to make it a third and 30 as we get right off the edge with Daniil Hunter, however, they are going to find George Kittle. And instead of a third and 30, it's going to be a third and four. And on third and four, we will stay out in the double A gap. We will only be bringing one of them. Drop Harrison Smith back to help try to cover some of these guys. We chose to go to the wrong guy. We chose to cover the running back. Instead, they find Ayuk for the first down, down to the 46. And so far, this game is just... Kind of been smooth sailing for both teams, except for a few mistakes here and there. It's primarily been an offensive game. Obviously, San Francisco was able to force the two turnovers early in the uh, first half, but past that, not much else has happened. There's a sack. I feel like every time we've gotten the sack, it's just Lance rolling out and just going right to one of our guys. But either way, I'll take it. With that sack, Daniil's total now moves up to 11. So, somewhat of a, uh, at least in terms of an average player, definitely a milestone as we're going to get the tackle there with Harrison Smith. Lance almost got by him. Going to be a gain of one on the scramble, technically. And we will take over at the 20. Four minutes, five seconds remaining. We need to drain some clock and secure this victory. Because like, like I've said several times, this is a big game. Unfortunately for San Francisco, Greenlaw shaken up rolling on the ground, clutching somewhere in that shoulder region. Luckily, that injury is not sending him to the locker room. He is just over on the sideline, so some good news in terms of uh, how Madden animates. But we'll get an easy first down there. We will be attacking the middle of the field now with one of their main linebackers out. And with that new contract, let's get a little bit of running out here for Nwangwu. Let's see if we could get Lucas to motion over in time. 
So you're going to switch what side of the field we wanted to run this one to. Because we don't get good blocking. The linebackers all flew over to the outside, which is exactly where we were running. But either way, gain of a few yards. Keep that clock moving. So we're now at about two and a half minutes. Follow behind some good blocking. And in Wang Wu's speed is a killer, which is why he has that new contract. And another touchdown for him. That speed is just electric. He, you saw the open field, and he just put it in a new gear. He almost got caught, I will say. But you saw when he hit that, that gap that there was no stopping him. He was on the way. 24 was pretty close. He took a good angle again. That's Williams. And the 49ers offense will take the field starting at the 19. Our middle linebacker on special teams, Hawkins, had a great play. Just blew up the runner at the 19. Also, if you peep at the scoreboard, you'll see that it is 27 to 14 rather than 28 as we hit the two-minute warning. That would be because Ku missed an extra point. I'm adding kicker to the list of off-season things that we need to work on. But let's focus for the remainder of this game. Second and two, two minutes remaining. They are down two possessions. Get a nice underneath completion there to Ayuk for the first. And they've only had two incompletions on the day. Trying to make an adjustment. It's not really showing me what I'm doing here. And yeah, gonna, yeah I knew it was going to be messed up because it did not do a good job of selecting the actual man cover guys. So let's not run any more man coverage because sometimes Madden really struggles. J.J. Watt finds a way to break through. Big hit there from Henley. Completion, though, to Debo as uh, Bradbury was not able to break that one up. They go for another quick pass. Henley with the complete, Not Henley with the completion. Uh, Kittle with the completion. Oh, and I hit the wrong button. Keep, yep, keep using the auto flips. So we're going to switch over to a cover two. They're going to go to the outside, going to break one tackle, jump over Henley. Reed Jr. there to bring him down. 38 seconds left, and they're already back down to the five first and goal coming up. And they will be passing the ball still. Going to try to sit underneath some of these guys here, and they're going to find two wide open ones. This time, though, McLeod, he gets another touchdown. Luckily, we got that uh, touchdown with Nwongwu because that was a quick score from them. And they will be going for the onside kick here. Don't know why I didn't actually just line up but in that good hands team position in the first place. But Hawkins, another good special teams play. He'll get that reception. And we need to get at least a first down to end this game. And we'll keep Nwongwu out there. He did well for us in the last drive. Hopefully he can end this game for us on this drive. And we never got tackled. Okay, I'm just going to jump into an instant replay of this because literally we didn't get tackled. We made a cut and then they blew the whistle. What we did have was possibly a huge hit from number 49 coming or Greenlaw. But yeah, okay Madden. You would think after making so many games... <laughs> <laughs> there wouldn't Madden wouldn't be as glitchy, but eh, I guess it is what it is. And Wang Wu gonna get the first down. We're gonna cut back inside, and sure we're tackled in bounds. And another timeout will be called for San Francisco. And with this game basically a wrap, we're gonna bring out Corey Cook here, the non-younger brother of Dalvin Cook. Just another Cook. <laughs> He's gonna run down the middle here, get a gain of about four or so, as they will call their last and final timeout. We'll take the knee. And we'll call victory here on the West Coast. And as the whistle blows, there it is. We are going to walk out of here victorious 27-21. It was a very close game. We pulled away a little bit when it got into the fourth quarter. Either way, some huge, huge plays that happened. Some lucky plays, especially with that missed knockaway interception on the Leech touchdown. And then, I mean, just a lot. Just in general, any of the sacks... They had rolled out basically right into us. 
got got lucky a few times, but luck is sometimes all you need. And we took care of business in the rushing game. 230 rushing yards, only gave up 87. So we did a really good job just across the board. 49ers also played pretty well as well. Just we were able to get a few extra plays. And after that big win, quite a few big upgrades here as well. We'll start off with Flanagan. And we just pump possession with every tight end, no matter what. It's the best upgrade because you get run blocking, pass blocking, catching, route running, everything. As you can see, the upgrades here. Three to awareness, two to break tackle, one to agility, catching, pass block power, and spin move. Keenan Harvey also getting the upgrade as well. We'll go hybrid with him. It is our scheme fit after all. And we'll get plus three to awareness and plus one to man coverage, which will hopefully help him cover some tight ends in the future. He actually has some really good cover ability and decent hitter as well. So he would have also been a really good guy to have over Kittle, who I think he was sometimes. And Wang Wu with the uh, new contract and the speedy touchdown. He has an upgrade up to a 77 with our coaching boost. He'll get the plus one to ball carrier vision, carrying, juke move, and he has even more speed. What is it now? Like a 97? 96 with 96 acceleration. That's all you need. <laughs> and Richard Wilds are... Pretty sure he's our rookie, right? I don't know. I've drafted so many guys, I forget who all is rookies sometimes. Pretty, yeah, Richard Wilds is one of our rookie guys. He gets plus two to pass block power and then one to run block and run block power. If you're curious about what... Uh, uh, we also know that he's a star now. So, I don't know if you saw that. Just If you didn't, boom, star. We don't know what his dev trait is. These are what his ratings are looking like. Really, really good for a rookie. And as we sim on over to the next week, we see we're playing against the Indianapolis Colts, which at halftime we saw beated, beated? That was, that was bad. Beat the Bengals in a surprising fashion. The Bengals were, what, 9-3 and three on the season, at least after that. So 9-2 and two prior to. So definitely need to focus in on the Colts. Obviously, their main guy, Jonathan Taylor, is insane. We're going to need to stop him. We did a pretty good job at in the run game today however obviously Taylor is a lot better than Kareem Hunt so we're gonna need to just tune it up a little bit more it looks like the Bears did not play I think they had their bye week this week so so far we're looking pretty good in the NFC North especially with that victory and the Lions and Packers all losing gonna start separating while we're only up two for wins we're up three for losses so or three and a half two and a half i think two and a half would be how it would fall with our tie but uh yeah either way we're up we have green bay coming up not this next episode but the week, the one after that so week 14 green bay then we go to the rams we will be facing off against saunders who we traded there and then week 16 back against the Packers. So a lot happening the rest of this season. Make sure you are staying tuned by hitting that subscription button below and taking that bell notification to be notified of when these go live. Or you can follow me on Twitter, BigBearB underscore gaming. You can also follow me on TikTok to see the highlights of these, which I need to make more of those highlights. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Big win. We're going to need some more to, for, uh, just to round out the rest of this season. So I hope you guys are enjoying. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.